Good morning, everybody. How is your morning? Everybody go and get their five or ten bucks off Harbor Freight. You know, I, I got to admit, I, I did not go down there. I didn't make the trip to Harbor Freight compared to some of the other, uh, you know, sales they've had and whatnot. I just kind of thought that was a little bit unspectacular. However, they do have a huge garage and shop sale coming up but that's for another video you are not on the wrong video please do not click past the intro i have a few things to run past you and one of them is this this is the black box if you will the brains of our operation this is a uh asus vivo 66 vivo mini computer look at how tiny this thing is i have this thing mounted with a uh, a VESA, like a TV mount on the side of my desk. And, you know, it's just out of the way and it just sits there and does its job. It does a great job. Don't be mistaken by its size because this thing is a monster. It, it has a um, an i7 in it, a core i7 from Intel. So uh, the, I'm not going to go into a lot about this. I... I'm showing it because I had to add an M2 memory stick to it just recently because I was running out of hard drive space for all of my YouTube videos. I only have a 500 gigabyte solid state drive in it. So, you know, without going into too much of it, this is really a cool setup. Computers are my background. If this is something you guys are interested in, please check out this email below and send me an email i'd like to tear this thing apart in front of you and show you just how cool it is because i i really like it uh for anyone that's curious the m2 that i got one terabyte 109 bucks at amazon and look at this cool case like aluminum or something feels metalish and uh it's got a nice stamping in there for you to put your you know, they they took great care in packaging and shipping that. So, I'll put a link to that below. Now, getting on to our next announcement. Not the least of which is... BAM! 1,000 users. That's right. Our little community here is finally under review from the YouTube powers that be for a monetization. So... We'll let you guys know how that goes. We'll see. You know, you hear stories all over the place. There's get rich quick, and then there's like, yeah, don't uh, quit your day job. We'll see which one it is, and I'll let you know along the way. Next thing, Project Blue Sky. Yeah, here's a little glance. See all that stuff over there? Not that stuff. This stuff over there. Yep. Thank you to our massive, marvelous donors. Massive, marvelous Kind of weird. Anyway, yes, to our donors, thank you guys very much. You know, most of this stuff here is uh, purchased with uh, money from donors. For some reason, you know, GoFundMe doesn't like to hold on to that. They just push it out. So we went ahead and started gearing up for some of the uh, some of the uh, uptake here on project blue sky next video we're going to be mounting a monitor in here so you don't want to miss that sure wish i had the home handyman here because he's like the drill bit expert and we're going to have to drill and i'm looking to you know countersink with pen head screws from this side of it so that we don't have too much of a lump under here um but if you got something to suggest there's that email address again. Maybe you can help me out there a little bit with that. But uh, we'll see how that goes. If you want to contribute to Project Blue Sky, please, the first link that appears below will be a link to the GoFundMe account where you can get in on that. And, you know, I, I have people that are not even really interested in winning anything or getting a sticker they're just really great people that want to help out with this project so you know kudos to all of you guys out there that are 
are donors or, you know, monetarily or whatever you have done. You know, there's been all kinds of contributions to this project. And I listen to everything you say before I proceed on anything. So if you want to help out, click on the link, send me an email, drop something in the comments. It's all welcome. And we'll see what we can do. That should be the next video. So this video, getting to it, is going to be the 10 weirdest thing you get at Harbor Freight. I mean, there's some really weird stuff there. And remember when I was putting this uh, car together, the assembly, who oh, just wants to run through with the camera thing? Oh, look at this. Well, I didn't want to give it away until this video was out. Because, you know, then everybody's, you know, anybody could just walk around the store and say, oh, yeah, you know, this is weird. Oh, that's weird. No, we're... We're not just going to say weird. We're going to make fun of it. So, without any further ado, let's get to the top 10 weird things you can get at Harbor Freight. We're going to be right back. Well, here we go. I just wanted to give you a quick look at the don't go to Harbor Freight without these couple of things. And that's, first of all, getting your freebies. So, to get the, the 10 weird things from Harbor Freight, of course, I wanted the 20% off coupon on what I could get 20% off of. So my wife and my daughter helped me out by each going through with, with a couple of things. And of course, we each got our 20% off coupon along with a uh, free item, two, two LED flashlights and a uh, tape measure. And then we um, did the $5 off any Pittsburgh Pro Ratchet. So I got a whole set of these low profile ratchets in uh, half, three-eighths, and quarter-inch drive. So there we go. Let's look at some weird stuff from Harbor Freight. Number 10. Harbor Freight has a lot of signs, you know, the regular no soliciting, beware of dog, that sort of thing, no trespassing. But this has got to be my favorite one. I was almost kind of a little surprised. I had to go to a Harbor Freight in Lake Havasu City to get it. Never mind the dog. Beware of the owner. Go ahead. Make my day. So, what do you think? You know, just maybe... <laughs> Drill this out here, you know, put it on the peephole of your door. I think that'd send a clear message, wouldn't it? So this one here, that, I mean, it's a good quality sign, but this is it's just kind of in your face, isn't it? What do you guys think? Leave me a note in comments below. Number 10 is the never mind the dog, beware of the owner sign from Harbor Freight. Number nine, universal pill cutter. Look at this thing. Bet you didn't go to Harbor Freight to specifically buy one of these. But this kind of made me laugh because, you know, being a, a need of pill guy myself, I, I have a couple of conditions. You know, I, I understand it, but I'm old and infirmed. So I need a pill to cut my pills. But this kind of made me laugh. One, put the dye in. Two, crunch it down. Three, eat your pill. Why do they have to have instructions for this? But look at this. There's actually two kinds of Viagra. I didn't know that. And why do you need to cut a pill in half for Viagra? It's like, oh, well, you know, I'm not really into it, but I'm going to go ahead and go for it. Very strange. You guys let me know. So two kinds of Viagra. Anyway, let's open this up and see if we can use this thing. Don't lose the pill things on the floor. Oh, these are really, really fun. To see. Here are all the different dyes. Mostly long pills. A couple of round pills, a big and small round pill. So we're going to see if we can find one. And I, I think this first triangle one, small as it is, See if this little weird thing will work. It's 
See my hand. Click. Well, it looks like it did really good with the Zarelto. Cut it right now. So there's a win. The pill cutter is number nine weird thing you can get at Harbor Freight. Number eight, stainless steel shoehorn. Item number 9808265050 for that one. Here we go. Look at this thing. <laughs> I just can't get enough making fun of this. I really got a kick out of the. You get a uh, course in the anatomy of a shoehorn. Well, it's concave, it's convex. Oh, it's got an easy finger hold it. What else would a shoehorn have? If it doesn't have these things, it's not a shoehorn. So look in the package. If you don't see those things, this is not, this is not the shoehorn you're looking for. Wow, and it's heavy too. Stainless steel, look at this. This is like the Jolly Green Giants shoehorn. Look at this thing. It's, it's huge. <laughs> and this thing has like five stars on the review so this is like the best shoehorn in the world and they sell it right there at harbor freight i don't know about you but i'm I, I think I need a bench top buffing wheel and some compounds so I could just really shine this up. You know, kind of make it the showpiece of my front room. I'll hang it on the wall. My wife will love it, don't you think? Maybe I'll give it to her for Christmas. What wife doesn't need a stainless steel shoehorn that could probably fit, I don't know, a basketball into a pillbox or something? I don't know. Anyway, if I happen to miss a joke about these, please, here's my email address. Send it to me. That's number eight, stainless steel shoehorn for a giant. Number seven. It's gonna be item number 62506 for $3.96. It's 14 inch scissors. What do you need with 14 inch scissors? This is like a Halloween do it yourself Edward Scissor Hands Halloween kit. Can you come within a block of my house and I'll cut your hair for you? Maybe make yourself a set, buy two of them, make yourself a set of Freddy Krueger gloves. Wow. Hey, let's get Oh, they're sharp too. Of course they would be. They're 14 inch stainless steel scissors from Harbor Freight. Why wouldn't they be sharp? I'm running with scissors. I'm running with scissors. This could like stab a busload of people if you were running in the aisle with these scissors. Wow. There you go. Item number seven, 14 inch stainless steel scissors. Item number six is number 40691. It's a balsa wood puzzle airplane. $1.99. It just doesn't get any more fun than a balsa wood puzzle airplane, does it? If you know for sure, let me know because inquiring minds. But you know what? We go, let's see, is it take close? It's take close. Where are my giant 14 inch scissors? Stand back, everybody. I've got my giant 14 inch scissors. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Like butt, it goes through there. Like butt. Oh look, they even give you a little, little bit of glue. 
Easy to assemble, it says in the instructions. Flat packed balsa wood. Come on out of there, pieces. A piece of styrofoam to keep everything from bouncing around and busting. And let's see. Oh, look, hello. And my nails. So you can see, I don't know if you could see in here the wingspan on that. We'll let the boy have fun with that and I'll bring it back later and show you what it looks like put together. This is going to be item number six and we are going to be in the top five now. Item six, Legends of the Air. Easy to assemble miniature wooden aircraft. I've got a few ideas for this. We'll have to see if they come to fruition. We'll be right back with the top five. Well, now here we are in the top five. Don't know. 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 Go ahead. Here we are in the top five. Put those down, knock it off with the scissors already. You had all the scissor jokes, but if I missed one, send one to my email right here. And uh, I'll throw it up maybe on the next video. Now, Metal Cowbell, 97659, $4.99. $4.99, you can be the hit, you, you can be the hit of the band at Harbor Freight. You know it. You know the words. All our times have come. More cowbell. Hey, but now they're gone. Number five is a metal cowbell from Harbor Freight. Item number 96674, on clearance, 847. Number four is a bingo set. And believe it or not, I actually had to make a trip down to Lake Havasu store because there was a mad mob run on of old old folks in there running in there to get all the bingo sets at Bullhead City, and I couldn't find one. They had like three or four of them, and suddenly they were just, poof, all gone. I've got to play bingo right now. Let's have a look at the bingo set. This has five stars. Five stars. For a bingo set. Look at this, huh? A roll kick in here and everything. Right, bingo cards. B I N G O B I N G O Nice roll cage. And so this I guess this dispenses your bingo things for you. Right, drops one in there. I'm gonna set it up. We'll be back in just a second so we can see how it works. Okay, so here we are with number four. It's all set up. And it takes a minute because you got this little tiny door and all of these balls. Rodney, tell them for me, man. All I know is I got a lot of balls. Oh. It works. Number N. 42. Wouldn't it be cool if you were doing bingo and you did the calls like football players, right? Like B32, B32, or Gamma 6, hut, hut. Number four is the bingo set from Harbor Freight. We'll be right back in a few minutes with the top three. Weird things you can get from Harbor Freight, so stick around.
Well, how exciting is it to be in the top three? And here it is. Number three, item number 91622 for $7.99. And I got 20% off on this thing. Where is it on my receipt here? For $6.39 is a eight-piece watch repair kit. Now, look at the small print here. It comes with everything you need for everyday maintenance on your watch. And they say that like, oh, yeah, well, everybody knows how to fix a watch, don't they? So here's everything you need in this one little package. And, okay, I'm not making fun of this because, seriously, is Harbor Freight like the watches are us for jewelers or guys that repair watches? Because... <clears throat> you know, prove me wrong. Go out and do a search. Just type watch into the search box on Harbor Freight site and five tools will come up. Five, five items for fixing your watch. It's like, I don't go anywhere else for my watch repair needs. Already. We've got a premium heavy plastic bag here with top-notch tape. Comes with a handy pouch to keep it all in. And wow. Oh, look, it rolls. Roll it out. I'm ready to work on watches. I'm ready to work on watches. If I only knew what all this stuff did. Top three, item number three, watch repair stuff. Five different things that you can get at Harbor Freight for fixing and repairing your watch. Okay, the top two items, we are down to it. And at number two is item number 61959. For normally at $6.99, I got the 20% off coupon, $5.59. Bam! Jumbo Universal Remote. The Jumbo Giant. This is like the Jolly Green Giants Universal Remote Control. Works on all kinds of stuff here, but it was there was something that was funny on here. What was it? The the specifications, the dimensions are eleven by five by almost an inch. Wow! Look at this thing. You know, I can see this remote fine. But the problem is, I can't see really good enough to watch very much TV. And if I am close enough to actually see the TV, I don't need a remote because I'm sitting right there. Look at this thing. You can watch what was on in 1950. I bet you you could change the channel on the space station from here with this remote control. What is it? Only President Trump can push this button right here. What? What, is, what does that mean? STB OTC? All right, well, we had to pause there for a minute because the garbage man tried to crash our little party here. He probably wanted us to share our jumbo universal remote. Even the word jumbo universal remote is in big print. But get this. Teeny tiny little print in this booklet. They've got that big package they could have Put a larger print book in. So if you guys go get one, make sure you have somebody that can see really good to program it for you because while the remote is jumbo, the instructions are not. And if I miss a joke, please email below here. Send me your joke. Leave it in the comments. This remote is so big. Okay, so takes a couple of uh, AA batteries. Wow, they don't give us some of those premium giveaway batteries for buying their giant remote. Look at all the buttons. So we're going to put some uh, batteries in this and see if we can get it to work on my little pile receiver out here in the garage. Play some tunes. Now we'll be back for what you've been waiting for. Number one. 
item number one finally six six zero nine six fifteen dollars and ninety nine cents got twenty percent off or the original price was nineteen ninety nine twenty dollars got twenty percent off so fifteen ninety nine for the brass sexton so look at this how great is this even the flat earthers out there have something that they can get from Harbor Freight. I don't know, maybe even preppers, right? Think, think the preppers out there could use a brass sextant? Uh-oh, it's taped up. I believe you all know what that means, right? Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. I'm going to destroy my brass sextant trying to get the tape cut. The anticipation's about to kill me. How about you? It's a delicate instrument, so we have it in bubble wrap. Oh, no. Are we going to have to break out our 14-inch scissors again? They've already paid for themselves and their usefulness right here. Oh, oh, the anticipation is killing me. Do not eat this package. Put that in something for Cookie Monster, right? Nom, 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 nom. Okay. I right. don't want to... Don't want to ruin the calibration of such a fine instrument as this. Okay, so... You know what? It's been so long since I've been in school. I'm not exactly sure how to use my brass sextant but I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the sun and all these little look at that you know what I'm gonna look for a video and put a video on below if I find one or instructions or something on how to use my brass sextant okay so Mr. Fitch Give us a precise location, will you? Oh, right, Captain. Oh, I figure we're about to fall off the edge of the earth, Captain. We better turn around. Okay, that mirror doesn't move. Anyway, if I've missed a joke, <laughs> go ahead and put it in the comments below. Well, if you stuck around for all 10 items, then you've made it to the bonus round. And you know I'm all about the bonuses, and this is it. Now through September 22nd, 2019. And that's the next four days, if you just got notified of this video. Five items under $10. And they'll let you get a few more than maybe those five. So they're pretty reasonable about it. Just use this screenshot. You know, take a screenshot here. Or just pause the video, get your stuff, and check out. You're good to go. We have a lot of fun stuff coming up. Our next video, unless we come across a cool flash deal, we should be getting back to Project Blue Sky. We're going to be mounting a monitor. If you like this content, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Where's my cowbell when I need it? If you're coming up on a weekend, make it a good one. Take care, everybody.